it real I'm independent, I don't need no deal I'm Jaws on the beat, I got flow that kills Do my thing with a few G's, Lauren Hill Added to Logic 10.5 It's the step sequencer which we've seen in GarageBand over the last few years but has now been brought into Logic and is incredibly useful for quickly building up things like drum patterns So if we open up something like the drum kit designer and when we press E to get to the piano roll we now across the top where we have next to score we also have a step sequencer which will open up this and here we can quite simply put steps in which will build a pattern in tracks view for us as we can see up here shows up in yellow this very quickly and easily lets us build up things like drum breaks It's not just limited to quickly popping in loops though. Each part of the step sequencer has some separate controls in it. For example, if we have a look at the hi-hat here, we can solo just the hi-hat. It's got a quantize value, so we can actually put some swing in. So 16 triplets maybe. Or run it at 32. Or extra slow, the one over four. We can choose its playback, so it can have it so it Ping pongs, or is it even completely random? We can nudge the steps to change the orders. It means when we create multiple patterns, it's quick and easy to adjust them. And if we click on the arrow just here, we have a selection of other options as well. We can change the velocity for our notes, adding variety to our pattern, as well as a note repeat. So we can have some notes stutter, for example. It means we can very easily program in very quick runs. Much like anything in Logic, we can recolor, reorganize, and rename everything we need as well. And if it helps you with quick identification, we can simply right click, go into say drums over here, and we can assign an image of each drum type. We know at a glance what we're looking at. If we want to recolor them, very simply have it selected, press Option C to bring up our color board, and any color we choose will then change for the selected channel. We're not just limited to the drum kit designer, it will work with pretty much any of the classic instruments that could be programmed this way. So if we were to open, for example, the Ultra Beat drum machine, it also has access to the step sequencer right off the bat. I hope that video has been helpful for you guys. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. I'm independent, I don't need no deal. I'm Jaws on the beat, I got flow that kills. Do my thing with a few G's, Lauren Hill.